there was drama at Jesus is Alive ministry in un, as unknown, after unknown individual, individuals descended on the church belonging to politician and preacher Margaret Wanjiro. Wanjiro has accused shadowy government operatives of being behind what she termed as illegal demolition of her church. Wanjiro, who accused the Kenya Kwanzaa government of turning its back on her despite her campaigns for the 2022 general election, claims she sustained injuries during the Wednesday incident. We get more from our very own Ben Kirui. It is sad, very sad that this is the government that we campaigned for. At 11.19 Wednesday, according to the CCTV footage, the gates to Jesus is Alive Ministries owned by preacher Margaret Wanjiro swung open. A group of armed men in uniform entered, leading to the partial demolition of the church along Hale Salasi Highway. Yeah, you know, she's a, she's, she's the one. Bishop Wanjiro, limping and appearing injured, said people who claimed to have been sent by Kenya Railways descended on our property and began the demolitions. They raft up anyone who stood in their way. And I want to say categorically, he were rugaling. I a property about your railways. These are our investments. He ni property yetu ya kanisa na ni vazu wangu wengine ambao wako na properties hapa. Wanjiru describing herself as one of Kenya Kwanzaa's chief campaigners in the Nairobi region, stated that she did not expect to be repaid in such a manner. His serikali ya Kenya Kwanzaa ndio tulipigania. I'm one of the chief campaign, campaigners of Kenya Kwanzaa government. I'm among the very first people that started selling and campaigning for His Excellency William Ruto. Truly, I wasn't campaigning to be repaid like this. The former Nairobi gubernatorial candidate claims several people who identified themselves as DCI and NIS officers paid visits to the property along the Hale Salasie Avenue prior to demolition. Hakuna mtu anatuambia wanafanya nini wanasema tu wametumwa na MD wa railways. Na MD wa railways ajue. Hapa hakuna property ya railways. Na MD wa railways ajue. Kuna Mungu mbinguni. Bila mnasemanga nyinyi kwa serikali kuna Mungu binguni hata kwetu kwa makanisa kuna Mungu binguni A Nairobi court dismissed a case from 2022 that challenged the construction of a wall between Kenya Railways land and Bishop Margaret Wanjiru's church in Nairobi the case was filed by Bishop Wanjiru's church Jesus is alive ministries Rambai Patel S and H Investments and Soma Properties the petitioner sued Kenya Railways Corporation Nairobi Metropolitan Services NMS and Kenya Urban Roads Authority claiming that the ongoing development was obstructing their access to railway lane, exchange lane, Weruga lane and Hale Salasie Avenue. Kenya Railways responded by claiming ownership of the entire area occupied by Wanjiru's church and her neighbors. According to railways, the allocations to those properties were made irregularly and separated from its property. Kuna mungu binguni, wacha tuone what they can do. Ben Kirui, Citizen TV, Nairobi.